the next couple of minutes, we're gonna go down into the tunnel shaft 20 meters below where the hostages were murdered. The tunnel shaft was in a children room, in a house. Those are the walls of this children room with Snow White and Mickey Mouse on the wall and a tunnel shaft where hostages were murdered downstairs, 20 meters below the ground. Hamas used those letters in the tunnel and there was a hiding floor. All he needed to do is to break the floor and then go out through the children's room, inside to the street, and go back into the tunnel. This is how Hamas built this tunnel. The shaft goes down about 20 meters into the ground, using four separate letters. There, it connects to a narrow tunnel with no rooms that is so low you can't stand up straight in it. The tunnel is about 120 meters long and ends in a blocked iron door. This short blocked part of the tunnel is where the hostages were held and murdered. We know that between two to six terrorists were here with the hostages. We are gathering all the stuff here for forensics, for intelligence. We can see magazines, an AK-47 magazine, chargers, all by the ter used by the terrorists, Quran books, a hairbrush. We need, to, we need to check who used it. But there were women here in the tunnel. This is their blood. This is the blood of Hirsch, Eden, Carmel, Uri, Almog, and Alex. They were heroes. And they were here in this tunnel for weeks or days, we will find out. But they were here in this tunnel in horrific conditions where there is no air to breathe, where you cannot stand. And they survived, but they were murdered by terrorists. And they're still hostages, 101. Some of them are alive in the same conditions in tunnels like this in Gaza. And we need to do everything we can in all means, in all the means we can to bring them back home alive. Why murder innocent people, women, young men? They were all in the music festival and Carmel was at their home in the kibbutz. Why murder them in a tunnel after they survived 11 months in horrific condition? We pray and think in our hearts and minds and we will keep on doing everything we can everything to bring back home all the hostages thanks for watching drop a comment below don't forget to like share and hit subscribe to stay updated with our latest content until next time stay informed and inspired this is dejobnik signing off